Hi guys and welcome to Java tutorial of how to pass an array into a method. I'm going to start by clicking on file and let's click on new project and I'm going to select Java with ant and then select Java in the project click on next and right here I'm just going to give that a name I'm just going to call it parsing array. I'm going to leave this class unchecked. Let's copy this parsing array as well. Click on finish all right so back into my project area here i'm going to select this passing an array that is it right there right click on it and let's go to new i will select new class and the name is going to also be the class name is passing array i'm going to leave out the package and just click on finish and right there so let's get rid of all of this comment there now the very first thing i want to do now is i'm going to create my public main class in there enter curly braces there and right inside this public main class i'm now going to declare an array so let's make that double and the array is going to be known as core there and let's initialize it with the following values so let's go for maybe 45 is 90 let's say 20 27 38 now right outside of the main I'm going to create another public static that I'll use to copy whatever we have inside score so to do that I might as well just get hold of let's get hold of this Let's get hold of some of these and just modify it. Come right down here, paste that here. And here, I'm going to change the name here to, let's call it modify. There we go. And inside modify, I'm going to declare another array. And this array, I'm just going to call it Let's call it Q and Q close the Q up Q we're going to use that to copy or reference whatever we have inside score like I said earlier so let's just enter coily braces in here now okay so let's modify this a little bit this was supposed to be right here okay that's good and that should have been Q all right so next thing I want to do, since I've created my method underneath here, let's use a for loop to iterate around the array that I've created up there. So I'm going to say for. So let's give that a double data type as well. And it's going to be for x. That would be taking whatever value we have inside the score, the one that iterated. So and just enter coily braces there and I'm going to ask the system let's say system dot out dot print print line and what do I want you to print? I just want you to print out x and enter empty values in there now that that is done and I want to assign whatever I have in here straight into my modifier here. So to do that, I'm going to get rid of this modifier. Just grab hold of it. The choice is yours. You don't have to do it that way. You can always type it out. And just paste it right underneath here. Right there. And the value that I'm going to enter, that will be my score. There we go. Okay, so all I'm just doing there is pass array as the reference. That's what I've just done in here. Okay, so let's just say passing array as reference. All right, now I might as well just copy all of this again. I'm going to copy the for loop again. And then paste it right underneath the modify score and I will also paste it here and modify it as well and change as follows 
i less than the value q dot length there and we just say i plus plus and now next thing is let's make changes to q so right in here i'm just going to say q assign the i into q and i'm going to say equals q i and let's just multiply that by maybe 0 0.4 so that is just going to be the changes that will take place inside the array okay let's say changes to I'll be changes to Q itself all right now and that is how you pass your array into a method okay let's try this out now so first of all let's just move this up so that you guys can see it I'm gonna just click on run now first of all click on compile and click on run there we go look at that so that is my array the score that is it up to here and the changes that took place here are the changes right there okay so if you like you can just add let's get it to the next line there compile let's run that again and see what's gonna happen look at that look at that oh if you don't want to do that you can get that down here that off paste that in here so the spacing would be for the changes so let's run that compile and run there we go look at that so with that guys i'm gonna call it the end of this brief tutorial suppose you guys enjoy it and let me just show you guys the codes properly so that you guys are able to see it so you can always give that a go those are the lines of code of uh, how to pass arrays into methods with that i'm going to say bye for now please do subscribe to my channel i'm trying to get up to 1 million subscribers and that would be very great i'll be very pleased with that and you can also join to become a channel members there's a lot of benefits as a channel member you all have a nice day now bye for now